Hey guys, today I want to talk with you again about the DPS rankings. We are now in the fourth week of Uldor rating. Um, I guess most skills are now having Uldor clear. It a little bit depending on how many hard modes. Maybe also Algolon, yes or no. Mostly yes, I would say about Algolon because I think only 300 something guilds killed Algolon. So yeah. Um, I'm here already on Warcraft Locks in the DPS rankings. I choose now only over a range of one week. <clears throat> Why? Because also I want to see the change of the Retribution Paladin already. That's what I also want to make here visible. <coughs> Sorry. So, um, things changed definitely a little bit around. Two weeks ago, everything looked like this. Sorry, this is here a little bit small. Can I make this bigger? Yeah. <coughs> Not the best quality, but as you can see, uh, things definitely changed here a little bit. Not super crazy, but we have some changes. That means scaling already starts and also some classes, like I said, like Retribution Paladin got a buff. And yeah, the scaling of some classes, some specs are just better than the other ones. <clears throat> other ones uh, in that case of scaling. So... That's why we have here some changes and I guess the people are better adept. So some classes maybe are more easy or some specs are more easy to play. That means you can maybe already on the first or on the second try on a boss make a very good damage output or have a very good damage output. But on other specs, other classes, it's maybe a little bit more tough. <clears throat> Let us go over here. We have here Affliction Warlock still on number one. And I and to be honest, I think I this time I will make here an S plus tier. I put here Affliction Warlock because it is the clear number one, as you can see here from the difference to one from one to two. Number two is still Fire Mage, so we keep it here like it is. And number three, we got here a swap. It's now Unholy DK. Unholy DK is the number three. Super close with Assassination Rogue, and then followed by <coughs> sorry the monology warlock so um frost dk is here at the end of the of, of the s tier then uh, i would say maybe we could also end the s tier already on the monology warlock that's maybe um how you want to count it down let, let let us do it let us uh, end the s tier here after assassination rogue and then we start with the A tier on Frosty K. The A tier is again here very big. Why? Because then we see another big step and all the steps between the A tier specs are super low. Yes, you could say that also between the, the step from Demo Warlock to Frosty K, but at the end you have to take one of the steps here to uh, divide the tiers. Um, all right, so that means Frosty K, Survival Hunter, Enhancement, Shamal. Shaman are here the first three and the eight here. Uh, that was also here the case, Survival Hunter and Enhancement. Assassination made definitely a jump here. So also working pretty good at that moment. Then let us see, we have here after this the Shadow Priest and the Combat Rogue like super tight. That means Combat Rogue also made here a, a jump four or five places. That's definitely a reason because they scale very good with the gear. So if you are a combat rogue and you had some luck with maybe good thing is the the, the weapon from the flame Le Leviathan that is your bis weapon, the fist weapon. So that makes that is a very strong boost. Uh, Destruction warlock usually you don't see them, but seems like they doing well here as well at the moment. And then. We ending it with arcane balance and elemental shaman arcane. Sorry, it's the old one. Arcane, arcane balance and elemental shaman. So just here a few swaps. I would say what are the like I said what the swaps are to mention. We put affliction now finally into the S plus tier. It seems like it stays that way. They even scale good, so there will no change come come to be honest. Assassination Rogue made one or two steps uh, ahead. Combat Rogue made one or two steps ahead. So that's are the 
changes right now at that moment i would say that i can see we come to the next tier the the, the a tier uh sorry we come to the to the b tier now and yeah the b tier is like you can see here was beastmaster feral uh maxman beastmaster feral and fury uh, usually you see no Beastmaster, so makes not a lot of sense, but we got one new per is it Beastmaster that you rarely see. Yeah, you see the parses are like non-existent to be honest, but anyways, it's okay to have one Beastmaster in the raid if you want to have it. Uh, and yeah, we have one new class spec in the B tier, and that's the Retribution Paladin. They got a buff, they got a very smart and good buff to be honest um, so I definitely like what I see here uh, was a very good decision from Blizzard if you see here just uh, the last one day is not a lot of not a lot of uh, data here I mean it's solid it's, it's not like nothing <clears throat> then you can even see that Retribution Paladin is on the first place already of that tier this Master Hunter is falling down here so that makes no sense let us directly put it also away uh, you should not play it but yeah it seems like retribution paladin can get even here the first place of the b tier what does it mean it means that we have another spec that is very very viable another class even in that case because it's the only uh that dps spec from paladins awesome job from blizzard here seems like also it was not too much we will see now that maybe maybe paladins will get more gear because i guess that some guilds say to their paladin hey or maybe it was only their off spec from some paladins hey sorry but we cannot give you the best dps get di directly why because you are just the worst dps spec at that moment so they maybe were here a little bit waiting for stuff like this so now it finally makes sense to give a fury uh, a retribution paladin gear definitely the same gear as all the low a tier specs and maybe even on all the b tier specs definitely so we have here a very good thing coming that the the, the, the range of all the specs is super close the only positive outlier here is affliction warlock the other specs that are more down here um <clears throat> with frost and arms warrior you could even just put them all into the c tier to be honest we could delete the d tier but the c tier is just not don't play it Make, makes no sense as a rogue you have two better specs as a warrior you have one better spec i know it's not much but you have one better spec as a hunter you have two better specs and also as a mage you have two better specs also the play style is not that different from the classes so please just change your spec for raiding um the other specs are very good for pvp so you have here definitely something that you can <coughs> use the spec for but raiding should should it not be so <clears throat> what do you expect um, we can expect that Affliction Waller definitely stays there. Um, I'm not sure if Fire Mage will close the gap or the gap will get uh, more. I have the feeling that many mages already have their four piece, what is very important for them. Other classes definitely uh, will scale a little bit better with gear. I expect here that maybe Combat Rogue during till the end of the phase can definitely make here a jump. <clears throat> not sure about fury warrior if they can def if they can maybe they are right now together with all the uh b tier specs very very close so it's not made it makes a sense here to make a big difference um but yeah if you want to make it then maybe retribution paladin and fury warrior maybe they can close the gap more i definitely see here a chance and also as better the scaling gets, as shorter the, the fight, as more items they have, better the scaling, as shorter the boss fights will be. Shorter boss fights are definitely good things, for example, for balance through it. Again, for, for combat rogue, I guess also for unholy DK, the shorter boss fights will benefit for them. I don't know about all the other specs, but we have here some specs that definitely will benefit from shorter boss, boss timers or shorter boss fights. So at the end, no big changes we have some positive changes like retribution paladin is now a 
definitely viable DPS. Combat Rogue advanced four or five um, steps. Apart from this, no big changes. The only thing that really changes is that now I put here an S tier. Apart from this, mostly stays the same. Good luck, guys, with your older raids. Like and subscribe if you want to stay tuned. See you. Bye bye. Juju Energy is definitely at the moment a gaming drink of my choice. It helps me stay focused with a lot of energy, good reactions, and it's even good for the eye health. The natural caffeine and the sugar free makes it even better. A lot of different flavors. Blue Raspberry is definitely at the moment my favorite, but you can choose whatever you want. And with the discount code MULTI10, you can get additional 10% discount on your order. Enjoy it, guys.